Today, we're going to understand the long, long, long journey that led to Rapunzel and Eugene getting engaged because believe it or not, it took them years of asking until they finally came together and agreed they were ready to get married. Falling in love was the easy part for Rapunzel and Eugene. After their adventure to return Rapunzel to her parents and kingdom, they loved each other with their entire hearts and were glad that they had found each other. Once they had begun to settle into their new life together in Corona, they felt their happily ever after had come and they were beginning the rest of their lives. That's why on the day of Rapunzel's coronation, Eugene got down on one knee and asked Rapunzel to marry him. Rapunzel, from the moment I first met you and you knocked me out with that frying pan, I knew it was love. You're my best friend and I want to be your partner in all things. But there was a problem. While at first she was excited to see Eugene removing any ambiguity in their relationship, after years of being trapped in a tower, Rapunzel began to feel the restrictions compounding upon her as she had been restrained by castle walls, constant surveillance of guards, and a pressure to behave like royalty. She couldn't comprehend the idea of submitting to a life where she would feel constricted and helpless. Rapunzel didn't want to be forced to never have another adventure, so unfortunately she had to say no to Eugene. I love you, Eugene, but I, I can't. Just not, not now. In Eugene's mind, his dream was to be with her, especially after growing up poor and alone, living in a castle with the woman he loved was the greatest life he could ever ask for. So he was ready to make that lifelong commitment to the princess now that he was happier than he ever had been. But since Rapunzel wasn't ready, that meant it just wasn't their time to go down that path. They had a few years, a few adventures, and a few proposals left before they would both be ready. Hello, I'm Isaac from What's Up Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people. On my channel, I focus on spreading magic by discussing Disney, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. When Rapunzel told Eugene that she was not ready to get married, he accepted that, comforting her when her father ordered her to remain within the walls of Corona after her golden hair magically returned from her journey to the Black Rocks. With a cupcake in hand and a cherry on top, he was there to be by Rapunzel's side. Look, I'll admit, I don't quite understand and why you said no, but I promise to do everything I can until I do. Eugene promises that they will take their relationship slowly, assures her they are in a good place, and lifts her spirits before Rapunzel asks one more thing from him. Promise me one more thing. Anything. That you'll be patient with me. Absolutely. While I was a little shocked that Rapunzel had said no, I understood where she was coming from. Her freedom was something she valued more than ever. At the time, she needed as much of that as she could get. She just needed some more time, and Eugene gave that to her as they explored the mystery of her hair, the growing danger of the Black Rocks, and the angered Varian. I hope you see as we go down the journey of these many proposals that Eugene is a stand-up guy who stands by Rapunzel no matter what. And that's why no one beats Rapunzel and Eugene in general. They are my favorite Disney couple. Sorry, Belle and the Beast. After waiting six months after his original proposal, on their journey to discover where the Black Rocks were guiding Rapunzel, Eugene summoned the courage to propose again, but his plan kind of fell apart. You see, Rapunzel stumbled upon him preparing himself to ask her, and this put them both in a very uncomfortable position. Rapunzel didn't know if Eugene meant to ask her then, and Eugene continued to wonder whether she really wanted to marry him. Even though time had passed, they had not figured out when they wanted to begin that next point in their lives together. But eventually, Rapunzel did become committed to the idea of them being engaged. You see, on their first stop in their journey, they spent time in the city of Varderos, which was home to the Baron. He was a notorious kingpin who Eugene had worked with in the past and was the father to the woman Stallion, who Eugene had left at the altar. So when Eugene got into town, he was in a bit of trouble, which led him to getting captured and eventually coerced to finally marry Stallion or else his best friend Lance would be killed. It was a pretty sticky situation to say the least. Not realizing that Eugene was forced into that engagement, Rapunzel began to question her time with him and started to regret walking away from his proposal. What if that's the last time we ever talked? Why didn't I say yes? Rapunzel knew that Eugene was the person she hoped to marry and didn't understand why she hadn't opened up her heart to him. 
Now that Eugene seemed out of her life, she saw that she should have at least explained her confusion to him. Most of all though, Rapunzel truly internalized that she wanted Eugene back in her life, and with that realization that she was unwilling to let Eugene go, she not only was ready to fight to get him back, but she also understood that she was ready to be engaged. So with her friends by her side, Rapunzel sets off to stop the wedding and defeat the Baron to get Eugene back. This all led up to Rapunzel summoning the courage to finally tell him how she felt. I wanted to talk about when you asked to marry me. I didn't quite know what to say. But I do now. Eugene, will you? No, that's not necessary. Of course though, while Rapunzel was deciding that she was ready to propose to Eugene, he was coming to terms with the fact that he didn't want Rapunzel rushing into an engagement she wasn't ready for. If I Could Take This Moment Back is the song that captures a lot of these thought processes, and I think it's a beautiful piece of music that does a great job of showcasing the emotions of both partners. Another example of Tangled the Series music absolutely being amazing. Through Eugene's contemplation in his jail cell, he began to feel he should give Rapunzel time because he was willing to wait as long as she needed. He only wanted them to continue to be happy together and in love. In his mind, he began to internalize what his friends had suggested to him. Maybe it just wasn't right to make her be tied down right after she stepped outside the walls and towers she had been locked behind for so long. So of course that all means that when Rapunzel began to propose to Eugene, he wanted to make his own thoughts clear too. You're finally free and out in the real world. I understand now that making a lifetime commitment is probably the furthest thing from your mind. In other words, Now's just not the time. After this series of proposals was when I really got excited to see what would happen between these two. Now my interest had peaked and I knew that I would get the pleasure to tell their story someday and this is it. A part of me couldn't wait to see them finally have their proposal work out, but part of me also kind of loved the drama of it all, and the drama only continued to escalate once Rapunzel and Eugene returned to Corona from the Dark Kingdom. With Rapunzel dealing with the betrayal of her best friend on her adventure and the responsibility to rule the kingdom while her parents recovered from a memory erasing spell, the princess of Corona was becoming a mature, strong, and resilient individual. She wasn't the same naive girl that she had been up in her tower and was learning more and more about how powerful she truly was. That self-reflection paired with her continued desire to propose to Eugene meant that she was prepared to finally make her move. To complete the wonderful life that she was finally living and ensure that they would be next to one another forever, she worked with his father, King Edmund, to ask Eugene to marry him on his birthday. I am going to propose to Eugene. <laughs> I don't wear shoes, but if I did, I believe they would be on the other foot. But before Rapunzel has the chance to propose, Cassandra returns to Corona and interrupts the celebration. And it's only when the boy Varian is searching for a way to concentrate light on an ancient scroll to learn of the final incantation for the Sundrop does Rapunzel reveal her intentions. Of course, to no surprise, Eugene was ecstatic to see that Rapunzel was finally feeling ready to make the commitment that he had been ready for for so long. Is that a... Yeah. For me? After the battle between Rapunzel and Cassandra, Eugene jokes about their current crazy and long history of attempting to get engaged. And honestly, I thought this was so funny to see. Things just kept not lining up for them, but they would pretty soon. Well, Blondie? One of these days, we'll get this whole proposal thing right, huh? At this point in their lives, it seemed that they both had come to the conclusion that they wanted to marry each other and were ready to devote themselves to the other. But what they were really waiting for now was the perfect time to ask. And funny enough, after Corona falls under the control of Cassandra and they are working together to save the kingdom, they even make another little joke that they lost track of when they were supposed to try proposing again. That reminds me. We about do for one of us to stumble through an awkward proposal? <laughs> right, whose turn is it again? But unfortunately, that moment wouldn't come until the evil Zontiri had been defeated, Cassandra was redeemed, and Rapunzel felt she was finally the woman she was always meant to become. That's when the big moment finally happened. 
In a boat on the Corona Harbor, similarly to when they had first fallen in love, Eugene confesses his love again. He reminds her of the promise he made to her that he would remain patient and assures her he will keep that promise no matter what. But now that they had been through so much together, he was there on that boat to check in to see how she was feeling. With a cupcake in hand, just like the one he comforted her with on the first night he tried to propose, he hides a ring underneath the cherry and asked the question that they'd asked each other so many times, one more time. Will you marry me, Rapunzel?